welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, and as you may be able to see, literally right outside, um, it snowed last night in this game world, which makes sense because in the game it is currently January, and that is most definitely not, uh, the time of the year it is when this video is being recorded. But either way, um, the snow is not gonna stop us from checking out a truck that I think we're probably gonna end up buying. Now, if you guys remember, we've got a lot of vehicles out back. Now, let me actually, let me actually run out back and grab one of the trucks back there, because we could grab that one Chevy that we've got sitting out front, but I kind of want to bring everything around back and show you guys some of the other trucks that we got going on right now. So, we've got this square body dually over here. We've also got a single cab Duramax, and we've got this blue Ford that you guys may have seen in either some other videos or potentially some of the live streams. And we're actually going to take this thing out to town to have a look at something that they have at the dealership. So, let's fire this thing up. We're going to listen to the Ford chime again. Oh, there's that good old Ford chime. We... We know it, but do we love it? I'm not sure. Like, it roars to life after a couple of Ford chimes, but I don't know if it's a chime that we exactly love. Now, I think what we're gonna do is instead of, instead of taking this thing down to the dealership with a trailer and then trailering uh, something back, I think we might actually trade it in. Not that I don't like this truck. I actually really like this truck. This truck has been an amazing part of really all of our operations out here. It's been a hauling rig for us. It's been, you know, well, a hauling rig for, like, you know, cars and trucks around the farm. It's been a hauling rig for, like, tractors, attachments. Like, it's been a hauling rig for just about everything. I can't remember if we've hauled stuff to town with this truck or not, but I know we've used a couple of other trucks for that, and I'm sure the truck that we're heading to town to look at right now is going to be able to do that just fine as well. Now, this area is absolutely gorgeous in the snow. I'm actually really glad that it ended up snowing because I've never actually been able to see how this map looks in the snow. And like I said, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the snow does feel like a little bit of a slicker surface than obviously, you know, dry pavement, but I mean, I, whoa, dude, this thing is like sliding all over the place. That is freaking great. That is absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and pull up here. Oh my, bro, most of the town has snow all over the streets. That is brilliant. I mean, it's like on one hand, it's brilliant, but on the other hand, I'm like, God, I am absolutely sliding all over the place. All right, so what we're gonna do here to make sure that we go home with something is that we are actually going to sell the, really? You're supposed to be able to be sold right there. I was going to say, before we do anything else, we're actually going to go ahead and sell this Ford because I want to make sure that we have to go back with something. All right. And the Ford is sold. I love how we literally left the engine running while we were selling the truck. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's absolutely, it's absolutely a okay. No worries. It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and go on into the dealership. They sure do know us well here at this point. Now, let's go ahead and go into the inventory and check out the truck in question. Now, the truck in question is this. The 2017 Chevy High Country, and I believe this is a... I want to say this is a 3500. Now, this thing has already got some custom work done to it. It's already got some specialty forged wheels on it that are steamroller wide. I mean, this truck is like stance nation wide. It is so, so wide. It's got clear tails. It's got an exhaust. It's got just about everything. It's got a hitch. It's actually got a gooseneck hitch as well. There's so many different options here. It's, it's, freaking wild. There's also, if you did want to go with more of like a work bed, you could totally do that. Although I don't think that's the, uh, the move we're going to make today. I think we're going to actually stick with a standard truck bed. Now you got a couple of different wheel brand options here. And this one is going to actually convert you over to duels. And then this one, essentially it keeps going up and going up and going up. And then the last option actually adds double duels to the front, but it kind of looks a little bit goofy and it kind of looks like it's more for the memes than anything else. And it doesn't really like, I mean, it looks, it's really funny looking, but at the same time, it doesn't really benefit the truck's performance at all. Now I'm very back and forth on whether or not I want to go the dually route with this thing. I mean, going the dually route would be probably, I don't know, it would be like one of the coolest ways to go. But let's see, on the dually setup, we could go with some, oh, wow. 
You do an Alcoa setup? That's that's pretty gnarly. Okay, like that's oh my god. American Force Orions? Jeez, look at how deep those are in the back. That is insane. Mud dualies. These look like a swamper on like a really small wheel, actually. Kind of like a steely design. Dude, that is that is insane. Like, part of me wants to go with the Alcoa duels, but the other part of me is like, these American Force Orions are just so insane that I think that's the God, they stick out so far. Like, that looks goofy. It looks goofy, but like, I don't know, man. I Part of me is like, do it. And the other part of me is like, no, it's goofy. And I'm like, okay, let's look at a couple of the other uh, options first. In the, in the singles, we have these, the O21s, the O22s, which actually I think look really, really good. We also have these TIS 544s. Then we also have another set of forces, which are, those are a little bit more subdued, but they still look really good. And then we have these Archons that are also super deep, super wide, very shiny, you know, polished finish. And then we have these American Force Independence wheels, which I dig, but I don't know if they fit the vibe that I'm going for with this truck. And I like the options that it has in a single wheel configuration. I really, really do. But, <laughs> but, you know what? If we're going to go over the top, we're going to go over the top. All right, now... For steps, do we want steps or do we want stock steps or foldable step? That's a thing? Oh, dang. All right. I didn't realize foldable steps were going to be a thing on this thing. All right. Bumper options. Standard. Painted bumper. Painted bumper and grilled. Color match all the things. Let's see. Chrome ranch hand bumper with a, apparently a front hitch is a thing. Wow. Oh, dude. A weight box? Bro, you could you could use this as a pull truck if you wanted to. Holy smokes. That's pretty nasty. Like that's that's insane. I tell you what, we're gonna color match the bumper and we're gonna leave the main grill chrome. Now, back rack. Let's see. Standard. We could do another one. Wait a second. Uh that doesn't seem to be a functioning part of this. Okay, mirrors, standard or painted housings. Again, with the color matching, painted base. Painted full. Oh, that's cool. I'll tell you what. I'll leave the actual arm uh, blacked out, but I'll paint match the mirror itself. Now, engine setup right now is kind of a baseline Duramax L5P, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go over to a um, Duramax L5P with a cold start, which is perfectly fitting because it's actually winter in game right now. You also have a couple of other options. You can have a, like a Cummins sound. You can have a power stroke sound, uh, with or without cold start. That's entirely up to you. And in terms of the toolbox, what do we have in there? We have a small toolbox. We have a cam locker dual box, uh, toolbox. Well, let's see. I'm kind of back and forth on that. Do I want I think we're going to go with the bigger toolbox. Seems a little bit more functional. Not that, like, and then you look at the wheel setup and you're like, huh, right, functional. Okay. All right, main color. I like this color. It's called apparently Dark Sky. What about the Dark Sky New Age? That seems just a little bit more shiny. What about Dark Sky Aged? Oh, I see. What about Carbon Black? Yo. Okay, that's, in that's, that's pretty insane looking. Uh, Quicksilver, apparently. Oh, that's like... I think it's just like polished pearl white. Now, there is, oh boy, oh God. All right, I don't know about that. Now, I will say red quartz tri-coat new age, heavily polished, like heavily polished. Wow, wow, dude, that is, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. It will match the Ferrari in the garage. I will tell you that. It's a little bit of a deeper red, but still. Design color. Is this the interior? Because it's dark sky right now, but, well, I don't know. What if I do Pacific blue? I feel like that would show up if it was... All right, I'm going to leave it dark sky. Now, wheel color. Now, it's stainless steel right now. We could do zinc. That's not quite what I'm looking for. What about if I do, like, pure chrome? It looks okay, but I kind of like the stainless a little bit better. The stainless seems to be... The, st the stainless almost seems to be, like, the most fitting, you know? Now, what about carbon black? Oh, wow. Okay, I, I'm kind of feeling that. Even the gunmetal gray, I dig. But I think I'm going to stick with the stainless. I really, like... I'm really keen on the stainless. All right. Now... With all the options, that's 66 base plus 16 3, 82 388. All right, we, wow, okay. Yep, 
Apparently, we are going to be fetching our purchase at the shop. And, uh, well, I don't know how that is going to go. But you know what? While I'm here, why don't I give this thing a job to do? Now, on the way back, I'll tell you what. We'll have it haul this little Yamaha Banshee back. Why not? Why the heck not? So let's see. Wide? Yeah, wide wheels. Wheel setup. Uh, I don't know. Throw like the Kendas on them. That's fine. Stock fenders, cut fenders, stock fenders. That's fine. Exhaust. Like, let's see. Choice one, choice two. What is. Oh, okay. I was like, what is the difference? Like, they're not. Oh. Wait, bumper, choice one, choice two. Bruh. Here. I meant exhaust. Choice one, choice two. Yeah, definitely choice two. I prefer bumper, choice one, two. Ah, we'll do we'll do one. Banshee manual, banshee easy. Uh I guess we'll do the easy one for now, but we'll come back and switch it out a little bit later. That sounds about right. Because really what I'm trying to do with this thing is I'm just trying to let the Duramax haul something home. And I'm not necessarily trying to uh focus on the driving experience of that Yamaha. So let's go ahead and... Oh, shut the door. Thank you. All right, let's get a look at this new Duramax and also hear that cold start for the very first time. Here's that Banshee, by the way. Let me move you over here. Boink. Oh, it's actually got a little bit of suspension trouble to it. That's really cool. All right, let's hop in this thing. And well, it's time to turn the key and fire this monster up for the first time. <laughs> It's not the loudest thing in the world, but oh, apparently the exhaust is um, either not bolted down or very active. It moves a lot. Now, let's see. What's the horn sound like? Well, it's actually kind of decent. Uh, let's see. Ray's front loader arm. Oh, that's the adjustable hitch. Nice. Okay. Now, what about... Do we have the ability to... It does not look like we have the ability to put the tailgate down. And I also have simple IC turned on. And I'm not seeing any pop-ups for that either. So, that's why I'm glad that we have the strength mod on. And we can just plunk this guy right into the bed. Boop. Well, that went well. Actually, bro, I couldn't have fit that more perfectly if I tried. Alright, so fasten the belt. And that's actually a super tight fit with the toolbox. I'm kind of surprised we got it in there. Kind of surprised. What about the interior view? What does that look like? Will it freak out? Oh, no, it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. Got a fully modeled out back seat and everything. Yeah, this is... Oh, 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 dear. I was like, this is a beast. And then the camera got all weird on me. All right. Now, let's make our way back to the house and see what this thing drives like. It actually feels, like, right off the bat, it feels very... It's got this really real kind of feeling to it. And when I say it's got this real sort of feeling to it, it feels more realistic in the sense that, like, it takes a bit to get going. You know what I mean? Let's pull into the tractor supply here real quick. Snap a couple of photos of this truck. Oh, man, it looks so good. It looks so good. Now, I'm not the world's biggest fan of these ginormous wheels, but, you know, I gotta say, I, ha I I feel like, you know, I feel like there's a place for it, you know what I mean, like, there's, there's a place for it, and I, I know some people are, like, not about wheels that are massive like that on trucks like this, but, you know, from time to time, it's kind of cool to have, you know, all right, let me not drive out over the sidewalk. Let me take this thing home, and we'll find a place for that Yamaha. And then once we find a place for the Yamaha, we'll let it kind of chill out. We'll let it do its thing. And, oh, apparently we're going to have to drive through some snow. Let's give this thing some beans. It's, it's taking it a minute. It's taking it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this thing is... Uh, feels a little bit oh god that is freaking out okay yeah that is that is a big oof all right now apparently there was supposed to be snow here because the snow is coming off my ow oh my god that is the first run-in with farming simulator traffic i have had in a really long time and bro did i forget how formidable they are they will send you back like a couple hundred years with how hard they are willing to hit you like they don't even stop they're just like yep you whether you're there or not i am absolutely just coming through 
Dude, the snow is deep enough now that it's, like, getting into the dish of my wheels. What the heck, bro? That is... That is ridiculous. That is absolutely... Look how deep the snow is back here. Holy smokes. All right. Let me run this thing around to the back of the barn. And then once I run it around to the back of the barn, we'll get the Yamaha out of the bed and we'll throw it inside the workshop. Let's bring you on up the hill. You know... It was sad to see that Ford go, and I'm sure I'm going to have another one at some point, but, oh, dude, this thing is so sick. This thing is so sick. All right, let's go grab that Yamaha out of the bed. Oh, come on. Let's see. Can we take that out? Yep. And yeet yawn out. All right. Let's open this door. Oh, perfect. We'll throw it in here with the, um, with the Honda. Perfect. Oh, God. I just climbed the side of the door frame. Don't know how I did that. Oh, this thing's actually pretty loud. Right, let's back you on in. I love how slow the reverse is. Reverse tops out at two. Two miles an hour. Two. All right. We'll hop on off of you. Our, our, little, uh, our little ATV collection is growing. I love it. It's freaking awesome. Like, I love how our little ATV collection is growing. It's so cool. All right, let's hop back in the Duramax, and we'll pull this thing down front. Yes, I know. I love how it's like, please start the engine first. And I'm like, I hadn't fully started the engine yet, bud. I had to let it go through its cold start cycle first. Sheesh, don't rush me. All right, let's bring you back down front. God, that looks so crazy with, like, the freaking snow getting in the dish of the wheels. That, that's just, like... That is next level snow at that point. That is like such next level snow. But this, I don't know if it's going to be a daily driver or if it's going to help us out with uh, with many other things around the farm. I mean, it's not really going to do all too much in the fields, obviously, because of the style of wheels we got on the thing. But I'm happy we gave it a go. Like, I don't know if I'm going to keep it for very long, but I, I really do love it. Like, while we have it, bro, the thing is insane. But if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.